Hi everybody, it's FIBO Group and you are watching to the Market Watch Review. Stocks rose Tuesday with U.S. equity futures on bets that vaccines will help to tame an Omicron virus epidemic. And signs that U.S. President Joe Biden might yet revive his $2 trillion economic agenda. European shares recovered. The Europe stock's 600 increased almost 1%. Asian shares gained strength from a rebound in Japan and a rise in Chinese property developers. Contracts on the S and P500 futures and the Nasdaq 100 futures were also positive, which indicates stabilization following a drop in global equity indexes this month. Spot gold rose 0.3% to $1.797.14 per ounce. As a result of increased risk sentiment, gold remained in a tight range. Markets are bouncing around as investors evaluate economic risks due to the spread of the Omicron virus variant and hawkish central bank pivot. Asian shares rose on Tuesday, despite a tough Wall Street session. Chinese markets celebrated Beijing's decision to aid troubled property companies. Japan's Nikkei rose 2.2% following two sessions of decline. Advantist and Tokyo Electron, both chip-related companies, led the pack. Investors bought into Monday's massive sell-off. Australian stocks rose 0.9%. The MSCI Asia-Pacific Index rose 1.1%. The Japanese yen was unchanged at $113.58. After a severe sell-off in the previous session on Tuesday, European shares recovered. Concerns about the Omicron coronavirus variant were offset by a rebound in commodity stocks. The pan-European stock 600 gained 1.0%, with miners and oil stock among the largest winners due to higher copper and crude oil prices and a slight increase in risk appetite. The outlook for inflation is being assessed by central bank policymakers. Louis de Guindos, vice president of the European Central Bank, said Monday that the spike in inflation in the euro area will not last as long as initially expected. The euro rose by about 1.18% to 1.13 at the price level. British pound recovered up to 1.3250. After Monday's sell-off, stock futures rose Tuesday morning amid concerns about the fast-growing COVID Omicron variant. Futures on Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 250 points. After a disappointing Wall Street day with low volume trading ahead of the holidays, overnight action was initiated. Despite Democratic Senator Joe Manchin's opposition, the Senate will vote in January on Biden's comprehensive climate and social safety net bill. It is not clear if Democrats will attempt to pass a smaller bill which only includes parts of the entire package. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.